Hi, I'm Greg from TP Photography and today I'm going to do a quick video on how to use your Sony camera as a webcam. Uh, this will actually work for any camera that you can get live view for, which you'll see later. Uh, but there's three bits of software you need to download if you're shooting on Sony. One is Imaging S Edge Desktop. This is going to let you do your remote view control uh, and bring up the window. Uh, and then to tie this together, you're going to use OBS Studio. Uh, you can probably use other software, but this is the one I use. Uh, and the thing that ties it all together is the OBS virtual cam. Now this makes it uh, your output from OBS become a virtual camera, which you can then uh, connect up uh, using Skype for desktop, uh, Messenger or Zoom, and then it'll see it as a camera, as an OBS camera, which is uh, what you're going to do there. Right, so next step is uh, we open up OBS, which is actually what I'm recording uh, to here we've added a display capture so that you can see the screen uh, and that's why you can see what I'm doing now uh, then the next thing we do is install the virtual cam plugin it's quite simple you just go to the download uh, and you run it in uh, and then it just works as you'd expect uh, once you've got that all installed then on uh, if I drag my screen across here uh, excuse the little uh, re replacement thing here it gets a bit confusing when it's uh, showing it on itself. I'm just going to redrag this so you can see uh, a little bit. So you can see that's my uh, OBS window, but then obviously it's going inside itself, inside itself, inside itself. Uh, so you can see I've got the display capture which is catching the screen. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to open up uh, Image Change Desktop. I'm going to start that up. I'm going to turn my camera on. Hit refresh. Select that. Let's just select that by double clicking. I can see those not in focus. Just now. Uh, so we stop that. Uh, now I'm going to move OBS over onto the other screen so you can see that that's what we're going to record. Move OBS back. Now what we're going to do now is in order to use that uh, live view feed, we're going to go into OBS and add a window capture. And we're going to capture uh, our video here. Beautiful. Uh, obviously you can make that as big or as small as you want. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, now what you'd want here is uh, you're not going to want to capture the whole of that window so you can alt drag bring these down a little bit so that you're just capturing the live view portion of the screen uh, and then you can move that wherever you want on the screen now if you're using this as a a virtual camera then obviously you'd only have that on the screen quite big uh, but this is how you do it as an overlay uh, then the thing the plugin is virtual camera can see that's already started uh, it automatically starts it when you once you've installed it now I'm going to move this off the screen so this is what we're going to capture but you can see we're only capturing uh, that part of the screen and that's all there is to it so what you can see here is uh, you've got the picture of me talking to uh, the microphone not looking at the camera Obviously, I'd normally be looking at the camera if I was doing this. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to go to the settings. We want to go to video. And it's the OBS camera we want there. So if I select the Sparco camera, I'll just get that. Uh, so OBS camera is the one that we want to select. Uh, you just select it like any other camera. Hopefully you found that useful. And thanks for watching. And bye-bye.